What's going on, everybody? My name is Ben, and welcome back to the bench for another episode of Ben Builds with Joe and or Tamiya 148 Scale Dewatin D520. Today, we're going to go ahead and push forward, and let's see what we can get done. Now, last episode, I went ahead and overcoated the entire aircraft in its camo colors, and I really like how that's turned out. I've also shot the rear tail with red and yellow alternating stripes and the yellow cowling, so this actually looks pretty cool. But today, I want to go ahead and start off first with the rudder. I want to use some Stauner Res White Primer and over coat just the rudder to make sure that when we go ahead and put those decals on, we're not going to get some yellow and red bars showing through the decals. After that though, we do have to go ahead and mask off and paint some additional parts like the exhaust and the landing gears and all that good stuff. After that, we should be good to go ahead and throw those parts on and see how we do. So on to our first time lapse guys, let's get this party started. And as you can see from that time lapse, guys, we have the Dewatin D520 all nicely overcoated in our future gloss coat. And this actually turned out pretty decently. We went ahead and let that sit for roughly about five hours or so here on the bench. So we are back and I think we are ready to go ahead and start applying some decals. Now, I'm not going to be using the Tamiya decals, as I mentioned before. I'm going to actually be using these Aeromaster decals because I wanted to go ahead and do a very specific version. And I also didn't really like the look of the Tamiya decals. The coloring seemed a little off and I've heard some horror stories about those decals. So we're going to be doing the yellow 28 version right here from Aeromaster. And I'll just go ahead and take this decal sheet, start cutting out all of our different decals that we need, like the rudder decal and all of the national markings. We don't have any stencils though, which is kind of strange. So I might actually have to use a few of the stencils off the Tamiya kit just to make sure that we have something there, like the no step and a couple of other odds and ends. So not really that big of a deal. I think they should be okay. But like I said, the Tamiya decals are notoriously poor on this kit. So they actually might just completely destroy themselves in water. So I don't know, we're going to have to see how it works. So let's go ahead and jump into our second time lapse, get all these decals nicely cut out. Then we're going to go ahead and apply them just as normal with some microset, some microsol, and hopefully all of these go down perfectly. Back into that time lapse. Let's push on.
Oh no, guys, we have a problem. As you can see here on the rear rudder, I'm trying to apply the decal there and it is not lining up. No matter what we do, it's just either too short or too squat. I'm not able to use it. So we unfortunately will have to go ahead and kind of reconsider what we're going to do with this rudder. Originally, I wanted to go ahead and use the rudder decal because of the Dewatin D520 and aircraft number that is all stenciled onto the rudder. They don't have these as separate decals. So I thought we'll have to use the rudder decals. It's just a simple as that. Unfortunately, they do not line up. Not only is the profile for the rudder different, also the length and the height, they're all different. So it does not line up no matter what we do. So we're going to go ahead and have to scrap those. We're going to have to figure out something, which means we're going to have to go ahead and paint the rudder markings after all. Now quickly off camera, I have begun the process of remasking the tail and I'm using a single strip of Tamiya 6mm tape to go ahead and mask off the white part there on the rudder. The front section is going to be blue, back section is going to be red. So I'm going to go ahead and just use my blue tack tape. We're going to mask over everything that I don't want painted with overspray and fingers crossed I can go ahead and mix up some blue and go ahead and paint it and see what happens. I don't really know how this is going to work guys and I'm kind of upset about this because if I had known that these did not fit, I wouldn't have even bothered with with the national markings, I would have painted everything on. But because I didn't know, we're kind of stuck. Oh well, live and learn, right? We'll make it work. Now for the blue color, I've noticed that the blue on the decals are very, very similar to the blue I use for the camo. And that is a Vallejo color. It is actually AMT7 out of my Russian aircraft color set. So we're going to go ahead and use that AMT7 as our base color. Then we'll go ahead and add in a little bit of white, a little bit of pale blue to go ahead and elevate that shade just a little bit. And I'm hoping that we can get that to match close enough. So first off, we'll start here with the AMT7. I'm going to use about that much. Not a lot, to be honest. Just have to do a little strip of this. And then we're going to add some of our white color. And let's just do one drop. There we go. And then I think we're going to add in some pale blue, another... Russian blue here that I had out of the set. And I think we're going to go with, let's do three drops. Let's try that. We can always add more later. So just do three drops. There we are. And then we just mix that up and we'll see how it looks. Worst case scenario, if it's too light, we can add one more drop or maybe another couple of drops of our AMT7. If it's too dark, we can add another couple of drops of white or maybe that other Russian blue. I think we'll be in good position no matter where this ends up. So just mixing it all up nicely there, I can tell that it is pretty close. So I don't think I'm going to have to do much alteration. I might want to add one more drop of AMT7, but I think we are in the ballpark for sure. Let's go ahead and just match this next to the decal. And yeah, you know what? It's close enough. I'm okay with that. So I think we're going to go ahead and jump back into a time lapse. We're going to continue with the decals and we're going to go ahead and use this color for the blue stripe there on the rudder. And then we're going to use a little bit of our flat red by Vallejo for the red stripe on the rudder. And then we'll go ahead and let that dry and we'll apply the yellow 28 and a couple other markings from the Aeromasters decal sheet. So let's go ahead. Keep our fingers crossed. Let's get this done. And we are back, everybody. As you can see, our D520 is all nicely decaled. I've also took the liberty of overcoating the rudder, of course, in that blue, the white, and the red. It looks okay. 
I was really hoping to use that decal because, well, now my colors are a little bit off and I also don't have any stenciling. You know what? It is what it is, right? I might be able to somehow maybe take the Arrow Masters decals and maybe cut out that stenciling or maybe I can use the Tamiya decals for that. I don't know. But honestly, yeah, these decals, no matter what I did, they would not fit. And I had to go ahead and resort to painting. But while painting, though, we did make a very nice color out of these two blues and one white. And I think it looks okay. It's not perfect, but I'm happy with it. Now, of course, next time we're going to have to come on back and figure out what to do with those stencils. And I'm a little bit reluctant to use the Tamiya. For example, right here on these no step markings that I did that were from the Tamiya decal set, they absolutely disintegrated in water. I tried to pull them off the backing. They just broke apart. So if I'm going to go ahead and use the Tamiya stencils for the rear tail, that's going to be a little sketchy, guys, because I don't know if they're really going to hold up or they're going to come off the backing in one piece. We'll have to see next episode. It is a shame I could not use these rudder decals, but until our next episode, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to head over to Joe's channel. Check out his stuff. He's just done a giveaway. I know a lot of great kits going out to some very lucky subscribers. Awesome guy. Wonderful channel. Until then, you know the drill. Go out there, get yourself some bench time, have some fun, build something cool, and we'll see you back here next week for episode number 10 of Ben Builds with Joe and the Dewa Team D520. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you soon. Thank you.